Radiant, healthy looking skin at any age is important, but never more so when you're in your 40s, 50s, or as in my case, in my 60s. The answer is layering, simple layering of products. And I'm going to show you how simple it is and how you achieve that healthy looking glow. Hello lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel Hey Spring Chicken. My name is Cordelia and if you're a returning visitor, good to have you back. And if you're new here, welcome. Today's topic is all about hydrating the skin using the layering technique. I have been an avid user of layering, layering skin products, anti-aging, live ingredients for some considerable time. But now we have newer products from Korea and Japan. In fact, all of Asia have had these new products flooding our market and I have been asked, how do we incorporate this into our layers? I am going to show you a way to master the art, and it isn't difficult, then let's start layering. Before we embark, it's important that we understand why it's a game changer for our faces as we age, 40s, 50s, 60s and beyond. There are benefits that you may not believe to having older skin that we don't appreciate when we're in our youth because when we're young we have skin that may break out, that may be oily, that may be different textures that is very difficult to retain control of. As we age, all we have to do is hydrate and that is your number one key hydrate and I'm going to show you how we hydrate and how easy it is to continue once we've started the hydration the next important thing is that you encourage your skin to absorb the hydration and the third thing we're going to look at and my little tip to you don't sit and wait for each product to be absorbed into the skin no just crack on the skin works better when it's damp, when it's there and it's ready. We're going to look at morning, we're going to look at night and how they slightly differ. I mentioned earlier that it's easy. What I'm saying is you can't actually get it wrong. Your skin won't be harmed or damaged if you put the vitamin C on after. It just means that perhaps you won't get the best from it, but you won't get the worst. You're using these ingredients and it will work on your skin. So don't worry if you don't follow precisely this order. It's just a way to get the best from your skin. Your skin, you will know how your skin reacts. You will know what works best for you. I'm going to show you alternative products that I use because my skin just can't cope with some of those live ingredients. The very first step, whether you are in the morning or in the evening, is cleanse your skin. I currently use a cleansing balm and the one that I use is Trini London, but I have used Elemis, I have used many. Cleanse your skin. Now, why do you cleanse in the morning? I wear quite a heavy moisturiser the night before, I like my skin to feel fresh and I like it ready, ready for the next layer. So cleanse your face. I use cleanse once in the morning, double cleanse in the evening. So that is your first step. Cleanse and be ready. Step two. There are two steps to step two. We're going to start with the first one, which is a toner. I never have toned my skin. My skin is too dry, has always been too dry and didn't like it. However, as you will know if you're a returning visitor, that I have found the Essence Toner really it is a game changer. It has changed my skin. So Essence, that is your next step. I'm going to show you the one that I use. If you're a returning visitor, you will have seen this lots of times. So this is the Essence, and that just keeps the skin damp. So instead of having to dampen the skin with a cloth, you use that, it is now ready for the next layer. After the Essence, let's brighten and lighten the skin. That is ordinarily the next step. I am unable to use vitamin C anymore. I have a whole video for vitamin C, what's good, what works. I'll add the link up there. I just want to say at the moment, my skin, because it's so sensitive, is not reacting to vitamin C. I had to stop using it about six months ago and I haven't been able to introduce it back into my skin without my skin reacting. So I have had to find an alternative to both the vitamin C, the glycolic acid, 
and the ferulic acid and these are the products that brighten your skin if you can use it now is the time to add your vitamin c i can't i use hyaluronic acid this was the product that I used to use. Wonderful product, the GOW. It is a Victoria Health, not expensive, and it is 23% vitamin C, and it also has ferulic acid in there. It was, I loved it. But unfortunately, as I mentioned, I can't wear vitamin C anymore. So for those of you, and 50% of you out there, won't be able to use vitamin C, but don't worry. And what I use instead is hyaluronic acid. I have found hyaluronic acid is a great replacement for many of the live ingredients that I am unable to put on this face. Eight months ago, I was introduced to TW Real Bifida Ample. This is another wonderful layering piece, very, very similar to the Essence. But this is what I use instead of the vitamin C. I will add this on. It is a live fermenting product and oh my goodness, this just really lifts the skin to the next level. If you're unable to use vitamin C, or indeed if you are and you want to use this as well, your skin will not be sorry. Again, I've done another video on this, but this is a great layering piece. So use that if you don't use vitamin C or if you wish to use it as well. I just want to say that I use the TW Real in the morning and in the evening. Next are the serums. Serums are my absolute favourite ingredient of everything. I use a different serum in the morning and my absolute favourite is the Trini Peptide Serum. This is peptide and hyaluronic acid. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I'll uh, show you an application to stop there and you'll see how it goes on. Now the whole reason that we use this is that you want this skin to be as plumped and as hydrated as possible. Now although I mentioned earlier on, don't wait, just continue with the products. I do let this settle. I go down and I make a cup of tea and then I'll put the moisturizer on. But this has got peptides in. So you will use your live peptides or your hyaluronic acid after your essence, after your vitamin C, after your glycolic acid. This is the serum that I use, but you can use whatever serum you like. The idea being, get that skin hydrated and plumped and trap in that moisture. So that's my day serum. What do I use in the evening? Well, my evening serum is all about longer term hydration, bearing in mind that I'm not gonna wear makeup over it. And the one that I'm currently using is the Nambuzin Number no. 3 Skin Softener. I just love the product. It lasts for ages. You can see the viscosity in there. It's quite thick and it sits on the skin and then the skin absorbs it. It's beautiful. This is the one that I use in the evening, but if you use a different one, that's great. This has a live ingredient. This has hyaluronic acid in it and my skin loves it. Here is an alternative serum in the event you do not wish to use live or you prefer your product to be vegan. This is for deer and it's a blueberry serum from Korea and it is so gorgeous. I have dedicated a video to this product alone and it is my favorite serum. I do, however, like hyaluronic acid. I do like that that attacks the fine lines and wrinkles, but if you want hydration, this is the one for you. While I think about it, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I will add all the links below, and those links do have affiliate links attached to them, which means if you click and buy, I will receive teeny tiny commission for which thank you. It is that small teeny tiny commission that helps me buy these products, so thank you. Serums, as I've mentioned, are a powerhouse. They are packed with the live ingredients and I will add additional serums in the evening. And the one that I add is a retinol product. And the retinol that I use is Trini London. This is called Overnight Sensation. You, of course, can use any one that you like, but I really like this. It's a nice yellow shade, as you can see, and it sits beautifully on my plumping up serum. The next step are our eyes eye cream and this deserves really special attention. I struggle with many eye creams and I have found that the one that I'm currently using which is a COSRX Snail Mookin is beautiful for my eyes. Let me show you. So this is the one that I use when you put on any eye cream which I'm sure you know is just gently tap. 
going to be doing the rubbing. In fact, I got a telling off by one of you guys last week and it said don't rub. So gently tapping is the key to application. We now reach the very heart of the layering piece and that is moisturiser. I want you to imagine a cosy blanket for your skin. It keeps all of those lovely ingredients that we've put on underneath the moisturiser. I can get away with missing many steps, but I can never, ever get away with missing or forgetting my moisturiser. It is this that gives the youthful, ultimate hydrating glow. I use two different moisturisers for the morning and the evening. The morning I will use a peptide, and the peptide that I use is another Trini product. But I, I do find that peptides work really well in the morning. And this is called Bounce Back absolutely gorgeous product. I use it in the morning and sometimes I use it in the evening. When I want to give my skin an extra kick, I will add ceramide in the evening. So in the evening, I add an extra punch of ceramide moisturizer and the one that I'm currently using is the Numbuzin number two. If you've seen the last week's video, you will see I had none left. This has been delivered and it is a beautiful product it is really rich and it is the last thing that i will use at night before i go to bed put it on and then i rest the telling thing for me when i add on all my ingredients and then finally my moisturizer if at three in the morning i go and use the bathroom i will check my skin and it is still moisturized in fact this morning before i cleansed i noticed my neck was beautifully moisturized and it's on that note, I want you to just, every product you use, continue it down your neck and your hands because these deserve special attention as well. As the day draws to a close, sometimes I want to give my skin some extra pampering. So that's where I will fit in maybe a sheet mask or an oil treatment. I also have just found an additional layering piece. It is from the Japanese market of Hada Labo, and this is another hyaluronic acid. Now, I will add this in addition to my moisturizer. So it's not instead of, it's not instead of a serum, it's not instead of a moisturizer. This is an additional product. This is a seven hyaluronic ingredients, and this is called Goku Jin. And it is, as I say, the Harder Labo, wonderful product. One of the most important ingredients, which I know you know about, is sunscreen. I use a moisturizing sunscreen. The one I'm currently using is Ultra Sun, and that's 50. I will put that on after a moisturizer. It is tinted, so it's pretty good. Whether you add a primer before or after, I tend to use a primer just before, but you don't need to. This will work quite well without a primer. Put as much as your face can stand of the sun protector. This one lasts for 10 hours, so I don't need to add additional sunscreen during the day. My problem is, is that you put it on and then you put your makeup on, but actually it doesn't last all day. So you want to get the longest lasting sunscreen for your face. As I mentioned, I use Ultra Sun. There are quite a few products out there on the market. Do use your sunscreen after your moisturizer. So there you have it, your complete layering guide for mature skin. As I mentioned, it isn't complicated. It is as simple as you want to make it. Get the main live ingredients in, your moisturizer on, your sunscreen in the, during the morning, and then your overnight moisturizer for the night. And you will find that your skin reacts better. I have found that my skin is better now having used these live ingredients since I started this YouTube channel than it was three years ago. I will try and dig out some before and after photos and you can see that today, with all of these additional hydration, the additional live ingredients, that it looks better. So it is there for you too. In fact, I recently had a comment on my YouTube and it said, I'm shook up. I can't believe you're 65. I loved it. So please leave your comments below. I really love reading them and I do read every single one and I try to reply to every single one. So if you liked it, click the like button, leave your comment, suggest something that you would like me to review and I will consider and review it and ding the bell. Dinging that bell will alert you to content that we're uploading like this 
every single week and of course subscribe subscribing lets the algorithm know it lets everybody know i'm doing the right thing in the meantime if you've made it this far i want to thank you and enjoy the rest of your day evening morning and i will see you soon thank you So this is going to go after essence. Yeah, it's cocktail. It's all about layering products, layering anti-aging products to be specific. Recently, I have been asked about how I layer using the Korean and the other Asian products. And I'm waffling on. Yeah, you are. You want to trap that moisture. You want to keep... I'm boring the editor. I'm sorry, I stifled it. I stifled the yawn as best I could.